Hey guys, it's me, Stanley Comes again with another YouTube video. Um, this is the NXT UK Takeover Blackpool Resorts um, for today. So yeah, guys, if you want to know about the NXT UK Takeover Blackpool, these are the resorts. Um, the first one, the first match we have is the NXT UK Tag Team Championship. It's between Tyler Bate and Trent Seven versus Zach Gibson and James Drake. Um... This is the, I think, the finals of the tag team tournament to the crown of the first ever NXT UK tag team champions. Um, so, yeah, we, uh, so, yeah, um, the finishing sequence is um, Gibson and Drake finally hit the ticket to Mayhem on seven for the win. They're the first ever NXT UK tag team champions, which is, um, Zach Gibson and James Drake, they defeated Tyler Bate. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, Tyler Bate and Trent Seven um, to become NXT UK Tag Team Champions. Um, then we have Jordan Devlin versus Travis Banks. Um, so yeah, um, then like Devlin, um, he attacked the injured knee of Banks. He's kicking over the still ring steps over and over. Finally, the NXT UK assistant general manager Sis comes out and with several referees and officials to separate the two. Eventually, Banks is um, assisted to the um, backstage area. Devlin stayed out in the ring, cut a promo. Um, Johnny Sink ends up coming um, out and talking to Skylar, and they revealed they had to have a backup plan. And that backup plan was Finn Balor, music hits. And um, he came out. Um, he was the Devlin's original trainer, makes his way to the ring, and is announced as the um, replacement against him. Finn, so it's Finn Balor versus Jordan Devlin. Um, so uh, Finn Balor goes for the Coupe de Gras for the fourth time. And this time he gets it for the win. So Finn Balor beat um, Jordan Devlin. So then we have a no disqualification match, Dave Mastiff versus Eddie Den Dennis. Um, Mastiff hit, hit a released German suplex and his rolling cannonball sent on through a table for the victory. So Dave Mastiff is um, won that match. Then now we have the NXT UK Women Championship match between Rhea Ripley. I think that's how you do her name versus Tony Storm. I was going for Tony Storm in the match. Um, so yeah, then we, yeah, so Storm escaped another rip tie attempt from the champ before hitting Storm Zero for the second time. This time she gets the pin and the win. So we have a new NXT UK Women Champion, that is Tony Storm. Um, then we have the WWE UK Championship between P. Dunn versus Joe Coffey. Um, Sorry, I'm looking at my phone to tell you guys the results. Back in the ring, Dunn hits a disgust lariat of his own and then another bitter end, but still couldn't get the pin. Um, Dunn now locks in the arm bar and bends Kofi fingers until he's finally forced to tap out. Um, Dunn retained his title via submission victory. Um, after the match, a water um, arrived. So, um, Pete Dunn what, um, won that match via submission and is still the WWE UK champion. So then, um, like I said, after the match, Walter arrives. Um, so yeah, um, Cle Walter, Walter gets in the ring, stare down the UK champion. Kofi tries to get back in the ring, but Walter kicks him in the head and hits the ring. Camp F pose while done in trademark fashion, stood there holding his UK champion in his mouth. Walter simply walks back up the ramp as done watches on so yeah guys that's the end of the nxt uk um takeover um black that was the uh, yeah that was the nxt takeover blackpool resorts so yeah guys um thank you guys for watching subscribe to my channel like my videos comment my videos. you guys have a really good day and peace out bye